Yo, yeah! Music here is pretty rad, like, for a last world, it fits so well. Hey there everyone, this is Al Goblin ASMT, we're doing the House of Turner. I might have to go and back for lives, I don't know. Everyone remembers this level being kind of a pain. I don't remember much, a little bit. Welcome to House of the Turner Twins. You crazy fool! <laughs> Alright. I will never figure that one out. Yeah, so, yeah, and those are bound, so you want them off. So basically, the level one has a certain gimmick with objects, but also, yeah, so there you cannot go through if you're holding something. Like, basically, it introduces a whole bunch of weird elements that you need to figure out, and then, I mean, you know what? It's, it's, it's not a house. That's fine, it's a ghost house. The sky in the background is pure red, like the real background, so these make you big. I think you need to go to the bottom first. All these sad blocks. Lots of blocks. This is the house of Cuboid. All this time, I found it. I'm sorry, I should ask permission for finding out where you live. I don't know what that means, what I just said, but that's okay. Or somewhere else. Alright, so you get this, and you need to bring that somewhere. That somewhere is chucking that up there. Alright, now we gotta do the reverse. A good thing all these signs are there to helpfully tell us where we need to go. Otherwise, it'd be very hard to know. Like, I mean, that's a joke. Like, it's meant to be a joke. It's fine. It's okay. I'm not getting the Dagadon, but I can walk against this wooden box all day. Yo, check it out. I'm here in the middle of nowhere. There's wooden textures everywhere. If you don't want splinters, this is not where you want to hang out, sir. Alright, we're gonna time ourselves with circles. Oh man, no timer. I think that's meaningful. Cause yeah, no, yeah, time, like, that time, time to time, time, I don't know what I'm saying, it's fine. Here we go up and down, then we see all the circles like a clown, and you're like, well, I'm gonna fit in that, but it's okay, here you can get big again, things, like, it's, they're considerate in their own strange way. I don't know how you do this jump, though. Uh, like, you need to like, okay, like, you need to like, go like, uh-uh, yeah, there we go, it's the old uh-uh, and then you're like, oh, it's here, I don't know, where'd my P-switch go, did I not throw it up somewhere? It's here, you can see, I threw it up somewhere, and, because you need to be holding an object to go through here, and then you go down here, and here we go, here we're at a wait at the end of a tunnel, we wait for the switch to go by, it's a very important place to have in your level. Gotta let time go. <laughs> okay, so these are off. You can barely tell. Like, if it breaks the level to go here, like, just put a door and go into the next section instead. You know? Alright, so... What we're doing here... Is having a harsh time. Yeah, here to hint that... You're supposed to hold, like, spin jump so that you're rotating everywhere. Alright, so... This is why you're here. Now, there is a turtle in there, which is why I'm being cautious for now. Yeah, and then I'm just kind of trapped here, and it's... Like, you're just kind of stuck on this weird little wall. Maybe the best plan would have been to get out of inside that room? I don't know. I really don't. <laughs> arrow thing or an up arrow thing somewhere around here that mitigates that? I don't think so. <sighs> the problem with this part is the Eerie Generator, which just has no business being here. Like, this would be kinda hard enough. Damn, man. Like, this would be hard enough without the Eerie Generator. What, with the bad camera? And, like, the complete loss of control? I sure love waiting here and not doing anything! <laughs> Then, whoa, check out, I got this room to do nothing in. I, I I just don't understand that. Like, unless you just don't play your level while you play it, you do realize you're just sitting here. I don't know. I think it's weird. And I don't know. Like, yeah, like, it's just, it's... It's so crowded. Then you give... 
Like, I... Why is he there? Like, is... Uh, I think the reason why people don't like this level is that dying feels really punishing because... At least this first half is an awful lot of waiting. You're waiting after the P-switch, you're waiting for the circles to go into places, you're just waiting all day, every day. And there's something Mario players don't like to do, is to wait. And yeah, you wait. Not being one. So this guy here, this guy, he's like problem number one in this town. Alright, and now, yeah, now you get just things just kind of getting in emotion. Isn't there something up there? Yeah, yeah, there's boxes. Like, is there like one power up? Uh, that guy, yeah, maybe over there. Except here, like, to hunt down power ups, I end up putting myself into like extreme amounts of danger. In these tiny box rooms. You can't even get up there. Alright, never mind, I guess. Alright, what if... I'm like... I'm like... something. What if... Oh, sweet! There was something that killed me up there! That was fun! Thank you! Very good, maid! Whatever, who cares? I can't dodge you. But you need to have hits, because otherwise you just get killed by, like, a thousand things being, like, above you at all times. <sighs> like, this is the problem. You can't see anything. There's an active turtle up there that I need to not get hit, nor get scrunched, but I can't see it, because the camera doesn't exist. Like, this... What? Did... Did the author actually play the level? Cause this is a flagrant problem. That you just can't ignore. Like... Okay, like, I saw the shell wiggle there. Of course, you give me a, a row of stuff and nothing to do with it. Sliding square, alright, you know what? I'm just gonna assume that I don't need that shell anymore. Very unsafe assumption to make, but... Yeah, like, this level just feels like... was never played? That's a pretty cool giant cube ghost, though. I think it looks rad. Yeah, it just feels like it was never played. And you go in the clock, and if you don't go in the clock, you get smushed by a big wall with spikes. There, it says, oh, alright, let's just play the level, yo. I don't know, I remember you need to go to the edge of here somewhere. You do something you don't understand, and then you can go back. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. I call them beats, but I think they are meant to be radishes. They kind of look like both, honestly. Ah, uh, still more cubes everywhere. There's a square, that one is mad. Now it's flat, oh man. We gotta do something with something. Alright, well, you bob this. Alright, a one-up. A one-up is good, honestly. It's too bad I despawned it. Because I think I could have used it. Oh, you get another one here, though. So, hey, the one-up for you. Alright, so here's a big maze of things. So, you can go here. You can do that. You can toss that up there, maybe. Do this. Then you can do that. Toss that up there. Do this. Yeah, there we go. It's a big old maze of, you know, so you gotta know your rules of hold, not hold. Surprise mushroom ambush from the rotten wall, and here you go, little thing you can climb. It says LOL on the back wall! Don't touch down arrows. So now I got a silver pea, I gotta bring it somewhere, and I think, we're, like, we're going another place to get a, in a blue pea somewhere else. Or something, yeah, let's go ride, ooh, and generator. Together at last. Alright, like, I feel like I should just, like, 
I'm just gonna let it fall. It's fine. Alright, so I don't know what's going on. Like, where's the floor? I mean, it seems to imply that there's this floor everywhere here. I, 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 I should have destroyed you earlier. I don't know why I wasn't. I guess I was just in a babysitting sort of mood. Don't kick that. That's rude. I could have just pressed this like eons ago. One or the other. It's fine. Generators are still gonna get generated. But the other sprites are gonna get coin negated. Gonna negate that coin. I'm gonna get said, yeah. I just got touched by a an angel without hair. Look at that clock. It's important, okay? Importance of clock. So these are Goombas, I think? Indistinguishable from a lot of other things, but I mean, that's kind of like what they're doing. It's kind of like the mask level. Everything looks like everything. I'm gonna get a power up and then I'm gonna sing something. There's a big old swarm of walls behind me. No, yeah, I thought it was a Goomba, maybe. Why would I think that? Uh, it's my good question. Alright, so these are just Riven fish. Don't mind them. A little bit more cubic than you may remember. Your arrows are for forever. You get a cape and you go nowhere. You go in this thing that's kind of like a pipe, except not. And then I forget what I want. I think a blue shell. Gonna bring a blue shell with me. Everything is represented here. Yes, sirree. Check it out. I'm somewhere. Gonna get an extra cape. There we go. Now we can fly. We're somewhere without a sky. I think I was supposed to thwack that, maybe. I forget. Like, I kind of legitimately forget how this works. So we're going to take our time. We're gonna use the fact that there is no time to take as much as we want. Like, you give it a thwack and it goes up there, and then, yeah, see, now I'm here on the ground with spikes all around me. Single beat marching forward, making history. Alright, here's, like, I remember this being complicated. Alright, let's start by focusing on destruction. Always a good start. Now, I reckon, yeah, so I think we want to make a blue guy. So, blue guy made. Alright, so what's next? We want to make sure he doesn't despawn. No, wait, he needs to be on the other side, though. If I... okay, oh. Well, but now he's going away. Ah, no. Yeah, let's have a really, really, really fiddly puzzle moment right next to Insta Death everywhere. Cool. I love it. You're yellow, right? I think you are. Maybe a disco would make more sense. Honestly. Cause I feel like a disco, like, you don't need to run after it. Like, it's not as much of a panic moment. I mean, I feel like... A kick is definitely what's intended, because it shows an angry guy here. No, but the yellow guy is angry too, I think. Like, he looked angry. Out there in the bayou. Uh, let's do this. Let's take this one step at a time. You go in there, you are now yellow. Congratulations, I don't need you anymore. God damn it! It's quite a luxury. You, get back here. Now 
now you just go. Yeah, see, now you're down there. I do this, you're still alive. Like, normally you'd be chasing after the blue shell here. But this removes that aspect. Like, you're still- but you don't go up the thing. Alright, well, that answers that. very fun is a problem. It's very kind of picky. It's meticulous, but you're never safe. It just kind of overall feels bad. Right, so then if I do this, I can just drop down here. Okay, there we go. That is what is supposed to happen. Like, I mean, it looks cool when you chase it and all that, but... Alright, all that to get the stupid P-Switch. Alright. <laughs> uh, gonna go back in the pig, in, in the pig zone, yes. In the pay-per-view zone here, because it's pipes, even if you can't see the pipes, still pipes. Whoa, look at that, I disappeared, but my cape stayed there. I'm a demo ghost, but... Just doubling on my capes, it's just for the hits, really. Uh, we gotta follow the arrows back somewhere. Oh, that guy's gonna fall. But yeah, they're rip fish, so you can bomb them. Unlike the ghosts who look identical, except for being a different shade of blue. Alright, big cube. Still a cool guy, though. I still like his looks. It's really simple. I could get a power up, but I wouldn't need to. I am full up. Whether I want to or not. Why would I not want? Hey. Don't make assumptions about Teddy Bear brand fruit roll-up. Not a real thing. Level's not over! Now we go in this clock. Yeah, to tell there's a clock. Now there's a bot. First of all, it shrinks you immediately because it's this level. Alright, I guess the switches are there in case you don't have these ready. But yeah, Earthquake... I should have gone to apples. They're not apples, but you know what I mean. Like, I didn't even take the extra hit. They're kind of hard to land on. You gotta hit them when they're... Yeah, their thing is... Uh, shoot! See? Why didn't I get the beat? It's, it's just Earthquake Joe. It's a normal enemy. But it feels like garbage to fight. And then we double sprite glitch. And I'm... 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 I have to... Uh, yeah! No! Yeah! Just... Just... Yeah! Uh-huh, that's right. I'm not sure how- what happened in terms of interaction there, but as long as I get my block out, I guess I'm happy. If you can burn Earthquake Joe, I have no idea. Like, it's either a really powerful tool or will not help me at all. I need to choose now, though. I'm not taking the gamble. I prefer the assurance of having glide capabilities than the potential of being able to fry. It's like, if I could end this right now, I'd be really happy. Alright, this time I took the power up. So yeah, it turns out these guys just kind of want to never touch the ground. So you're never impacted by an earthquake. Since this last time my timing was like I always landed bad, I guess. Like always when they were in, whoa, in invincibility mode. Yeah, like it's a lot easier if you can just glide and stay up in the air. By the way, level's not over. But it's almost over. We're on the other side, you get shrunk automatically, because obviously... Alright, there's Yoshi. He's there. There might be something up there. Okay, what is up here? Alright, more of these. That's exciting. Yay! 
There's a Dagadon, if you're into that. Ghost House, here we go. It's like Ninshi or something. He's very rare. Alright, I mean, there's a joke basically being said. Alright, like one step at a time. Alright, so thank you! That egg was horrible! I'm Ninshi from the Resistance. Why don't we help each other through this castle? Sounds like a swell idea, new ally Ninshi. And see, the joke is that immediately... Whoop! Down he goes! I mean, he did help me get to the castle. I mean, it's pretty funny. <laughs> but, man, oh man. I feel you can tell the level was designed by a literal child. Like, I think it was by Chideda, who was like 10 to 12 years old. And I mean, I feel that explains it. Some design decisions? Knowing the explanation doesn't make it fun, though. Like, that's just the truth of it. And it's really unfortunate. I was hoping I'd find it more pleasant, you know, coming back more mature and better at the game, but no, this... This just feels like the level was entirely, ba like, built in the editor. With just, like, maybe an occasional spot check here and there. I might be wrong, but it's the feeling it gives. Oi, oi.